by the time you got to the third one, you had, you know, you had, there was a lot more of each of those. You know, we had the redwoods and the outer space and the desert. And those were each a completely different geography that we had to deal with. And there was more that took place within, I think, each of those geographies than took place in the first one. I think one of the, the biggest things of the Star Wars films that that's distinguished it from, from uh, the other films we were doing at the same time was that you'd have this one film that had all these different locations in them that you had to work in, and you had to solve all these sets of problems. It's like for Dragon Slayer, once we kind of solved the go motion problem, we could do it for all the shots, and it was pretty much, you know, we could figure it out. For ET, once we figured out how to fly the bicycles, we're fine, you know, we can do it for all the shots we need. But, you know, once you figured out, you know, how the walkers are going to walk, then you've got to figure out still how the Tauntaun is going to be moving around because it's a completely different type of character, and then how you're going to have, you know, the speeder bikes working. The, each show had all these different, you know, just a much bigger selection of problems in them that, that you know, that needed solving.